Welcome to the P Squared Learning Center and to this Myriad Quick Start course. In the first chapter, we'll take a look at installing and licensing Myriad. First of all, if you would like to get a copy of Myriad, you have to go across to the P Squared website at www.psquared.net. From there, on the left hand side, you'll see a downloads button, and then if you go down to trial software, click on that. I'll take you to this page here where you need to fill out your details. You need to fill out the details with the red star next to. You need to choose yourself a unique ID as known as a P squid and that will follow you all the way through any dealings that you have with P squared and fill out the rest of the details. Decide what products you'd like to try and then when you're happy you click this button here saying request trial software. That then sends us an email and uh, you'll receive an email back with your license software license details. And on the email, you'll see down at the bottom here, download location. Some of these details have been grayed out, but down here there is download location. And so you click on this link here, and that will take you across back to the P Squared website and to the suite support. You just uh, scroll down here. You're looking for Myriad version 3.5. Click on here to go to the download area. And then we are actually going to be downloading the beta release version 3.5.11. So when you're happy, you can click on download here. You'll be asked for a username and password, which you will have received on your email. You just type that in. And then you'll be asked to save the file. So you can just click on save file and uh, this downloads it to, um, in this case, down to the desktop for the MSI to download. OK, so we've got the installer. It's on our desktop here, P squared Myriad 3.5. When we want to, when we're ready to install, then we can just Double click on the icon, that will load up there. We can click on run. This loads up the Myriad installer. So here we go. Read through the instructions here. Just click next. Here is the license which you should read through, or you can print it out here by clicking on this icon. Once you're happy with the license, then click here on I accept the terms and click next. It's then ask you where you want to install the application. I would go with the default. You can change it by clicking on this button here. C program files P squared and Myriad 3.5 is a good idea. And then we can click on install. This will then uh, go through and uh, install the application. Once the application is installed, you'll see it here on the desktop. Just double click and it will be asked to license the software. The P squared license engine comes up and we click on OK here. Have a little read through of this and it basically describes you the licensing wizard that's to come. So we just click on next. So there's no license codes being entered. That's fine. Click on next. Here's where you type in your P squared, which you set when you originally requested the trial software. So you type it in there and then click on set and then down here you need to fill out your details. Now the two fields that you need to en enter in are your name and the email address. The other one, the other ones are completely optional and once you're happy then click on OK and then you can click on next and you type in your license name which you would have received on your email. Once you're happy with that, you can click on set and then the features code, which you will also have received on your email. And you can actually click on here to automatically retrieve your features code from the licensing engine. But uh, it's easier just to copy and paste it out of your email. Once you're happy with your features code, you can click on set and that shows you what the code will allow you to do. And then when you're happy, you just click on next. 
and then you have two options here to receive your license you can either automatically obtain the new license code using the internet or you can license over the telephone or using the secure website now if you've decided that your studio PCs won't have access to the internet then you need to go for this option license over the telephone or using the secure website as it might be that you've got a internet enabled PC uh, right next door to your myriad machine so we're going to actually do this one if you do did you want to automatically obtain the license it's as simple as clicking on that and clicking next and then it will go off to the P squared licensing server and uh, pull down your license but we're going to use uh, this method here license over the telephone or using the secure website so click on next here and we'll receive an activation code now we need to go across to the website so we can click on this link here to head across to the website and we wish to license a P squish product online so we click on this icon here that takes us across to the page where we enter our P squid again enter our email address Once your P Squish activation code has been entered in, just click on Get License Code. And then if you click on Next back here, we can highlight this, copy it, and then paste it in there. And then when we're happy, we can click on Enter License. We're now successfully licensed, and you you find the date as to when your license expires. When you're happy, just click on close, and that will close the licensing wizard. And this is how we're going to be setting up Myriad. And we click on next, asks us what our station name is, and uh, we're actually going to be Hot FM and it asks whether or not it will be the only station that you broadcast using this computer so yes or no and what best describes your location and so we are studio one here and click on next now it asks us where we want to stick the file locations now if this was um, a, of course a, a studio machine and it was looking to a server then you change the details here but as this is a local install uh, we're going to go for the D drive, P squared, and then uh, there's going to be a myriad, a directory, and an audio wall folder all within P squared. So we're happy with those. You can change those if you wish to. And it asks us uh, which role best describes the way that the computer's being used, whether it's an on air studio, whether it's going to be used for production, or whether it's an ad admin machine. Now, this is an on air studio. But it's not always going to be on air. We flip flop between two studios. So we're going to select on air studio, not always on air. And down here, you do have an option to automatically attempt to log into Myriad using the Windows login name. So if you run that way where people have to log into Windows first with a unique username and password, and then tick that. If not, then don't. And we're just going to use the simple on air control. Now it's gone through and it's uh, discovered my sound card and it's automatically set those up and uh, I'm happy with I'm happy with those you can change those later on in Myriad and we can click on next we've got no hardware logic card so we won't be using Myriad to do any switching for the news for example and then it gives us a summary of what we've just stated through the setup wizard when we're happy we can click on next and then that's it. We've finished setting up Myriad. And it should now just go ahead and load up and boot into Myriad screen.